It's been another hazy day here in the Pioneer Valley and across the Northeast as an air quality alert remains in effect. 22 News reporter Kaylee Collins has how these conditions are impacting area hospitals. Yeah, there has been a slight uptick in patients seeking care for respiratory conditions. This has been seen locally and it's typical when air quality levels are this poor. Much of New England in the air quality red zone. It's very difficult today. Breathing this air in, even for a short time period, can cause health complications. We do see more patients having some respiratory uh, conditions and seeing our emergency departments. Dr. Mazo works at Trinity Health of New England in Hartford, Connecticut, where the air quality index has exceeded 180. The higher that number, the more unhealthy the air is. Now, people who are susceptible to lung irritation caused by these kinds of really smoky, hazy conditions are, of course, people who have pre-existing conditions like asthma but also the very young or very old who are otherwise healthy. This is very fine particulate matter, PM 2.5, which is about 100 times smaller than the diameter of a human hair. According to the American Lung Association, air pollutants can lead to serious issues like cardiovascular disease, lung tissue swelling, and lung cancer. Marilyn Antonucci, who teaches in Springfield, an area experiencing a 152 AQI, gave some advice for her students. I brought in my nasal spray, which is saline, and I explained to them how this might help them. And Dr. Mazo does recommend wearing a K9 and and a KN95 mask if you'll be spending extended time outdoors this evening. And this air quality alert does remain in effect until midnight tonight. Working for you, Kaylee Collins, 22 News.